All right, so we're back with our cake. Now you can see I've taken two full layers and then a layer that I've already started to kind of cut. The way that Christmas pudding is made, I understand, I've never actually made a Christmas pudding, is it's poured into a bag and hung. So it has a nice dome shape. They then take it out of the bag and flip it over and it has kind of a dome shape. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this into our dome shape. And because it is a pudding, and has raisins and things like that in it, it's lumpy. It's not a perfect, completely perfect dome. It's got lumps and bumps, so we don't really have to be too exact on our trimming. As long as we get the basic dome shape, it's gonna look good because we wanna make sure it just looks natural and not perfect. And from what I've seen of all the pictures of Christmas pudding cakes, it is definitely not perfect. It's really just a dome. So let me just keep carving away. And if you feel like you've carved too much, you can always take um, your frosting, your filling, and patch it back in. Just put a little bit of frosting here and then take a piece and just kind of patch it back in um, if you feel like you've carved too much. So, Always save your little carving pieces because you may realize a little bit later as you're still carving that you need a little bit more. So let's see. I think that's got kind of a nice dome shape. Like I said, I'm not worried about being too exact because it's just supposed to be a dome. All right, so we've got that covered, got that carved. Couldn't have been easier. Um, I'm going to clean this up and then we're going to go ahead and ganache this and get it ready to cover with fondant. All right, so we've got our carved cake and we've got our ganache, and so we're gonna just start covering it. And if you guys have watched any of my videos before, you know I prefer to cover my cakes in ganache under my fondant than um, buttercream. I just feel like it sets up better, gives you a better base for your fondant. So that's why I use ganache. And if you don't know the recipe, um, I know we've got it on Yummy Arts. Go search for it, and we'll give you the recipe and tell you how to how to make it and I just really like it a lot better so and I like the chocolate I'm not a big buttercream fan I can't remember the last time I actually used buttercream so for me it's all about ganache and fondant so we're just going to cover this and again I'm not being exact because it's a pudding it's not a cake and so it's going to have kind of an irregular shape because it's filled with all kinds of goodies like I think it's got nuts and raisins I know it has raisins I think it has nuts in it too which means it's going to be lumpy and it's prepared in a bag it's hanging so it's not going to be perfect as soon as we get this covered with our ganache we'll go ahead and cover it with our fondant and then we're going to put it on our board All right, so I've got my chocolate fondant. And as you can see, I took a few different colors of chocolate and brown, and I didn't mix them really well because what the pudding is, is it's almost like a fruit cake. It has that kind of fruit cake look to it. So if I leave it like this, it's gonna give it kind of that mottled fruit cakey look, which I think is gonna look pretty good. So I don't want it to be marble looking. I want it to be more spotty looking. So. We're gonna see how this looks. If this doesn't look right, then we'll go ahead and mix it in more. But I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Let me actually do that. We've got a little bit of torn area. I'm actually gonna, there we go. Let's start, a little, start again there. Okay. The goal is to get it to look like it has different kinds of fruits and nuts and things in it and we don't need to make it perfect we're going to actually be covering it with what would be the brandy sauce that goes over it okay it's getting a bit of a marbly look which i'm not crazy about so i think i'm going to mix it in a little bit better all right let's try it now See how that looks. All right, now we have our chocolate fondant ready to go. I'm gonna roll this out.
All right, got this rolled out. Now we'll get ready to cover the cake. <laughs> 